I am of the mindset that when you look your best, you feel your best, all right? And really, it's gonna help you towards your goals when you're taking care of yourself, you look good, and you feel good, and everything's just going good, right? So, just a bit of introduction. I used to have really bad acne in, in high school. Now it's pretty good, you know, I've gotten it for the most part under control except for when I do bad things, uh, which I'll get into later. Um, but I had to get on Accutane because I didn't want to mess my skin up because I kept getting like cystic acne, a bunch of whiteheads, and I'm like in the mirror, like squeezing every, yeah, nah, I, that, I wasn't about that life. So I got on Accutane when I was uh, younger and it, it's rough. Right, so we, whatever we can do to prevent people from having to get on that medicine, I would I would hope to do. Um, but I just got a couple little tips and things to avoid because I've noticed myself that they cause me to break out, and uh, I'm pretty sure you you probably haven't heard these things before. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's get into it. Let's not waste any more time. So number one, and it's gonna suck if you're uh, if you're bodybuilding. You're trying to bulk up, gain some mass, get some good fats in, some protein. This is a hard one, hard one to deal with, but you see what that is? I don't know if you can see that, but that is almond butter and less specifically nut butter, peanut butter also. Uh, so yeah, apparently there's two reasons why this is bad for you, or at least bad for your skin. Um, nut butters tend to have higher levels of omega-6 fatty acids which somehow are more inflammatory than their omega-3 counterparts, right? And so in the, the inflammation that the omega-6 fatty acids cause, uh, apparently like peanuts and I'm assuming almonds as well, I don't know, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but peanuts more specifically contain some sort of androgen-like material. And when your body has higher levels of this, it causes your skin to produce more oil, it builds up, and then it causes dirt to get underneath your skin and you, it like, explodes your face with acne. And trust me, I've, like, experimented with this several times, and when I'm not eating peanut butter, my face is clear. When I am eating peanut butter, yeah, it sucks. So yeah, avoid nut butters in general. You don't need them. Just, just I don't know, cream cheese or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna get, get into uh, recommendations of alternatives right now. But stop using the nut butters. Second is another thing that I had to like dig deep on because I noticed that my freaking toothpaste was breaking out my face. I was getting pimples around like my mouth area. And I'm like, what are things that I put around my mouth? And I started thinking like, Toothpaste, maybe? And it was. Toothpaste was causing me to break out because it gets on your face and it can, uh, a lot of toothpaste contain an ingredient called sodium lauryl sulfate. And you'll see uh, on certain, certain toothpaste, it'll say like SLS free or something like that, sodium lauryl sulfate. And what that does is, I think it's a whitening agent. Look, don't quote me on it. But what I do know is that it's inflammatory to your skin. Another thing that's causing inflammation, of course. Every, I feel like everything causes inflammation right now. But yeah, uh, stay away from toothpastes that, uh, that, that contain SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate. I promise you, you will you thank me later. I use, I use this toothpaste, I use this as an example, but this one is SLS free, it is Hello. I'm not sponsored by them because I only have, you know, a certain amount of followers, so they don't care about my opinion yet. They will, I promise. <laughs> but no SLS. Last but not least is, you may not know what this is just from looking at it, but it's a little thing of Vaseline. And I use that as an example of something that you can use because, I don't know, I didn't look, I didn't do the research on this one, but I know it's true, is if you use certain lip balms, Certain lip balms will break you out around the mouth. And I, like I said, I don't know why. I know a lot of them probably use some strange ingredients, just like everything else, everything you, you eat, because uh, coming out of like cans and stuff. It, it all contains these weird ingredients that are trying to preserve stuff. And apparently Vaseline 
doesn't break me out. Things that are uh, that have natural ingredients like um, like Burt's Bees. Don't use that if you're allergic to bees or beeswax. But Burt's Bees, um, their their lip balms don't cause me to break out. Um, so yeah, that's very important is to uh, to watch the the lip balms that you're putting on your face because. A lot of that stuff, obviously, just sitting there on your lips and on your face, it can break you out if it's uh, if it's impure. Uh, so yeah, those are those are my three things that I think you should completely just avoid: is nut butters, pause, toothpastes that contain SLS, lip balms with unnatural ingredients. I have to take a pause for a second. I forgot where I was. But anyway, if you found anything valuable in this video, feel free to leave it a like. If you like the message that I'm giving to you guys, if you like what I do here, you just, or you just like me, just, you know, hit that sub button. It can't hurt, it's free. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and go do something.